Welcome to the 20th edition of the Singapore Straits Regatta, the third part of the Asia Sailing Circuit for the Perpetual Cup Series, which includes the Raja Muda and the King's Cup in Phuket. In Singapore, the fleet is based at 115 degree marina, a modern fully equipped marina on Sentosa Island, where preparations began for the 16 nautical mile passage to Batam Island in Indonesia. Nongsa Point Marina is hosting the IRCB and IRCC classes plus the one design J24s over the next three days. The weather was tough with strong winds, choppy waves and a strong current but it all helped the boats reach their destination faster. Today was the first day of racing with ideal conditions forecast. The fleet was ready on the Nongsa Point Marina for three windward leeward races and anticipation was intense amongst the crews looking forward to some great sailing ahead. I was here in the 90s and it's just as nice as it was then, you know, and generally it's hard to keep things looking good in the tropics and they've done a really nice job. I think it's really great that SMU has such a strong sailing culture. Some of us actually haven't haven't sailed before coming to university. And coming to university, we get this opportunity to sail not just for the school, but for Singapore as well. With races scheduled to start at 11 a.m. sharp, the crews checked over their sails and equipment for the strong weather conditions. Everyone was into it. The boat spread evenly across the first start line and David Dimmock's blue note was quick off the line. Two windward marks were set, a short course for the IRC and One Design classes, and one further out for the IRCB class. The wind increased halfway up the beat and the battles between the boats were close and exciting. Blue Note, the biggest boat of the fleet, was first to round the windward mark, followed by Reckering Dream, while on the shorter course, the J24 from SMU, Singapore Management University, was neck and neck with the Plateau 25. As the fleet hoisted their spinnakers, the wind picked up to 18 knots and the big waves made conditions trickier for the crews, causing a few boat handling issues. By the time they reached the leeward mark, the wind was even stronger, with rain added to the mix. With three loops scheduled for each race, there was plenty of racing to come and the crews gave their best as they headed for the second upwind. The strong conditions forced several boats to retire due to gear failure, but it also created great opportunities for others to make gains, like IRC Wakatea, who had some close encounters during the second downwind with SF2. So the first race was over, and boats didn't have long to go before the second was underway. By the start, conditions were significantly lighter, and they stayed that way for the rest of the day. Tomorrow we'll be back in Singapore with the exciting SB20 class action, while racing for the IRC classes continues here in the Nongsa Point Marina. Do stay tuned.